Hello friends, this video we are going to solve decode way. The problem is for giving input like this, we are going to find the number of ways decode this message based on this mapping table here. For example, 12 can be decoded as AB. That's 1 decode to A, then 2 decode to B, or 12 can be decoded as L. So we need to return the number of ways to decode the message. This problem can be easily solved by using recurrent tree. For example, we have, in, we have given input like this. We start from index 0. Each time we have two options. Option 1, we, rem we decode one digit. Then we got this left. Then another option is we remove, we decode two digit. Then we got this subproblem. We, for each subproblem, we just keep doing the same until we reach the end of the tray, which is empty, empty node, leaf node. So total number of the leaf node is total number of ways to decode the message. What happens if we meet a zero for this example? First, first option, remove 1. Second option, remove 10. Then for this subproblem, we meet a 0. Because 0 is not a legal mapping here. So we just terminate, we return 0. Which means we cannot decode the message going through this. So for this problem, we meet a 2. So Finally, we reach here empty, which means we for 102, the only one way to decode the message is 10, then 2. So we have DFS, BFS solution. DFS, firstly, let's take a look. Let's take a look. DFS version. Here we start from index 0 and each time if we meet a 0 we just return 0 which means there is no way to decode like this. If we, if we reached the end of the string which means we we got here. So we return 1. We got one way to decode this. Mm. If we are not reach the end, we have two options. Option 1, remove one digital from the input. Option Optional 2, if we got two more digital digital left in the input so we get the value of the of those two digit if it meets this condition so we have this option optional two this is the DFS another one is BFS BFS solution here we start from zero, we put zero inside the queue. So at here, the queue we have zero. Well, queue if, if queue is not empty, we pop this out. And if it's not zero, we have optional one, then we push this into the queue. And if, if this is true, then we push this inside the queue. Then we repeat again. 
queue is now empty, we pop out this one, we, we got two inside the queue, then we pop out this one. We keep going until we reach the end of the input. So we have a number of way plus one. So that's that's our BFS solution. Now what's the time complexity for this one? For each node, here is two to the zeros, here is two to the ones, here is two to the twos. So totally you just plus plus so you, the time complexity would be 2 to the n's. But if we take a look this tree, we can find here this problem and this problem are exactly the same. If we already know how many ways to decode 1, 2, 3, so here we don't have to recompute again. So we can use in memorizing. Here, it's our DFS cache solution. We have an array initialized value with minus one, and uh, the code are same. Only difference is here. Each time we call this function, if it's not the minus one, which means we already know how many way to decode this message. So we just return from here. Otherwise, we do the same, optional 1, optional 2. Finally, we find the number of way we memorize here. So next time, if for the same problem, we will return from here. So that's, that's top, down, top down DFS with memorizing which can re reduce the time complexity to all the n because the the size of the array is n once for giving index if it's already no so we just return directly it's take a one time so for for every, for almost for every top top down plus memorizing DFS solution, we can convert to bottom up dynamic programming solution. Here is our dynamic programming solution. So we start from we start from. Uh, we start with a empty string. Each time we we move in one. For this example, we move in one. So we move in one. We know we have one way to decode. Then we move in two. How many way? If the message ended at two, how many ways we can decode? So ended two here and uh, here which means one two and one two so we know it's two two way to decode one way is um, same as ended here you see before we move in two it we only have one it's ended here so when we move in two, the number of way are same as this one. We only have one, so we go to here. And another one, 12. If we decode 12, it's the number of way comes before. So we just manually set the empty is one way so when we move in two the number of way is 
as n two equals f n one plus f n zero. So this is two. We move in two. This is two. So next we move in this one one. The number of way from here if the text ended here one. So we have here one two one the, here is one way then twelve one and another one is one twenty one is here one twenty one will end it at here so we have three ways that's two plus one that's three then we keep going two plus three five three plus five h so we have h ways the condition is same as the dfs we initialize f0 is 1 then f1 if if the if we only have one digit if the for example one two nine we have one way but if it's zero we have zero ways this is the same as the termination condition if you compile with dfs so f0 f1 initialized based on the it's this case or this case so now we scan from i to mls1 this is the condition first condition if it's not zero we have optional one then our optional two we examine two the value of two digit if it's meet this condition which this is our optional two so those parts is exactly same if you compile with the dfs solution the optional condition are same and the initialized status comes from the termination condition of the dfs and uh, if you look at here and here when we compute for example when when we compute when we compute h we only need this one and this one we don't need the one of the previous one so based on this we can reduce the space complexity to order one for example this is our second version of dynamic programming we don't use the array instead of the array we just use three variable each time we we after we compute we just move we just keep keep tracking two value so that's it thanks